Hello again everybody, I hope you're doing well, and I think it's about time I opened up a parcel for us to have a look at some shirts, or should I say just one shirt, even though it has come in a rather large box. Uh, unfortunately it's not a boxed shirt, it's just simply a shirt that has been shipped in a box, and it sounds like it's quite loosely fitting inside this parcel here. I've never bought from this place before, so this is just probably how they decide to ship them. So, I suppose it's fair that I open it up, see what's inside, I probably should need to use these because it looks like it's sort of taped uh, across and hopefully it's um, a shirt that I have ordered. My only small worry is that there's no sponsor on this. I mean there really should be because it's advertised with it but because the club uh, do sometimes or mostly sell shirts without them um, I'm just a little bit skeptical but we'll find out in a second. Okay then so we have return sticker probably past that point. Delivery now, past that point. Uh, okay now. Right, get rid of the box. So, there is the shirt. So we have the tags there, so that's definitely one thing ticked off. Uh, I think that's the front of the shirt. And then we have sort of more instructions there on how to care for your shirt. There's a lot of paper in here, so let's find the entrance at the bottom, I think. Yep. Right, so, don't need that. Get rid of that. Get rid of... <sighs> you know what? Why did I think that was going to happen? So, they've got all of this paperwork anyway. Which is usually what protects the sponsor. And there's no sponsor on it. I have the... the ha it's advertised with a sponsor on the front of this. The fact that there isn't a sponsor is highly frustrating, not only because I care only to collect football shirts with sponsor, but because it's advertised with it on the front. So, what am I gonna have to do now? I'm going to have to contact them. And already there's an issue because right now I'm filming this at the beginning of July, and um, I bought this at end of April. Hmm. Okay then, why did I feel like that was going to happen? Why would you advertise it with a sponsor on the front then? Okay then, I guess this is gonna take a little change on course for the video. I was just, I was just gonna do my usual thing, but I suppose I shall do what I need to do and speak with Puma themselves because I did buy it from them. Why are things never so simple? So anyway, I will see you in the next part of the video, whenever that may well be. Hopefully it's remedied. I have a feeling it's probably just going to be a refund, which is fine, I suppose, but I'd rather have the shirt. So yeah, I'll uh, catch back up with you soon. Okay, so it's a little bit into the future, and look, there's my shirt. It looks really cool. How about that, eh, with a sponsor on the front? As you can tell, Puma have not necessarily resolved it in the way that I would have preferred, but I'll get into that in a little bit. I'll just do what I normally do. I'll talk about the shirt and the club itself, and then we'll get into the nitty gritty, though, there's not really much to get into, it's pretty simple really. So the club is FC Slavia Prague and it's the second club this week that I'm showing you with a sort of Lone Star style crest on the front. This is their home shirt from last season, 21-22, and I bought it from the Puma store, makes sense really. And it cost me £29.40 because I got it in a sale with a further reduction on it. If you want to buy it, probably maybe not, it is £42 so it's still discounted um, and it has available in all sizes. Uh, of course, bear in mind that it probably won't arrive with a sponsor on. Some people prefer it without the sponsor, I suppose, so that's something. Um, when I made the uh, notes of this video, I put, this is the first time I've seen this shirt for sale with a sponsor on the front. Oh, what famous last words they were. So that obviously didn't happen. Uh, with regards to this shirt, on the back it says SK Slavia Praha, which is obviously Prague, Slavia Prague. Uh, the club was based in Prague, kind of makes sense really, and was founded in 1892. What an old club this is. And they are the second most successful club in the Czech Republic since its independence in 1993. Naturally their biggest rivals are Sparta Prague, city rivals, makes sense. Now they play in red and white, of course, this is their home shirt, which symbolizes heart and blood. Okay, if you say so. Uh, their star crest is meant to represent new hope, forever strengthening the mind and uplifting the spirit. 
again, some more interesting marketing words there. Uh, last season, so I should say the season before, 2020-2021, they won the title without losing a single game, which is very, very impressive, but anybody can go invincible. And the following season, they finished second, just behind Victoria Pilsen. They finished top of the regular season, but they finished second in the championship section. It's just another country that has like separate ways of breaking it down. Um, so, okay then. So I dropped a message to Puma on the email that was actually attached to the paperwork that arrived with the, uh, the, the, the shirt itself, explaining that, you know, I do the YouTube stuff. I, um, yes, I did purchase this many months ago. It's gone past the period, but I've only just opened it now and naturally, when it's arrived, it doesn't have a sponsor on, and you're currently advertising with sponsor on. I attached photographs of both those things, and I thought, well, you know, let's see what happens. So it was obviously Sunday when I made sent the email. Later on Monday, they dropped me a message saying, "Oh, you know, general stuff. Well, we do apologise for the sort of the, the problems that has occurred. What we will do is we can offer you a free return." So they give me sent me a postage label I can print off, and I can and a, a link to follow to set up a, a, a pickup point. Uh, and then also, additionally, they um, provided me with a code which allows me to get 20% discount on a next purchase that I make from the Puma store, uh, which I thought, you know, which is fair enough. Um, problem was, that's not really what I wanted. You know, what I wanted them to say is, you can return it and we'll replace it with one that has a sponsor on. Or if I was really lucky, they'd just say, we'll send you one with a sponsor out and you can keep the other one. I think that they don't have them with sponsors which is really kind of naughty because they're advertising it with a sponsor and that's what you'd expect to get. And if you think about it the other way, if you want it without a sponsor and you see it advertised with, you're not going to make that purchase because you are going to think it's going to arrive with eToro on the front. So they kind of screen themselves over a little bit regardless of what is the genuine truth. Um, I suppose I could keep pressing them with regards to, you know, I want it with a sponsor, but regardless for me, it's like eventually I will grab one. So what am I going to do with a shirt? Well, I actually, I've already sold it. I sold it to a friend. I thought, you know what, um, you know, it's fine, I could return it, that's great. But to be honest, this person prefers it without the sponsor, which is fair enough. I know there are people out there that, that do that. Uh, and I'm more than happy to, to let it go for the price that I sold it for. So, you know, it's, it's still going to exist. But I suppose that's just a, a word of warning and it's just kind of annoying, I suppose. You know, you make the purchase and you kind of think it's going to come one and then it arrives totally differently. Um, so yeah, be very careful if you're purchasing from Puma, they may not send it with a sponsor on the front. Um, it is nice and it's a real shame because I would love to have added it to my collection. Um, but you know, going forwards, we'll try and find one. Maybe if I buy directly from the club star, it might be uh, a little bit easier. I remember the shirt from the se previous season, that was beautiful, beautiful design. And again, that was on the Puma star, I believe, and that didn't have a sponsor on the front. So at the very least, I knew that one wasn't going to be an option watch it would have been available with a sponsor you know whatever um but that's that's kind of it really so that's resolved a uh, bit of a boo-boo from puma it's a shame i have a 20 percent discount but the problem is they don't really have that many shirts for sale and the ones that they have a sale i kind of have most apart from bristol dortmund and generally it's cheaper to buy them elsewhere so i'll probably use it to buy something at some point i don't know if there's an expiration code on the code uh but you know i guess we'll find out going forwards so yeah, that is it, you know, it's been a while since I've had a little bit of a, a frustration when it comes to a opening, but you know, I suppose it was resolved in some manner. So let me know, did anybody else buy one of these? And if you did, did it come with a sponsor? If so, um, yeah, let me know, because I can fire another email off to Puma and go, excuse me. So yeah, anyway, guys, have a great weekend ahead. Thank you as always for watching my videos. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.